All right, so outside tonight, nice little breeze here on the hill and some rain to talk about. Let's look at the southeast winds that are continuing to truck in that Gulf moisture. So it's going to definitely stay humid as we work our way into the final Friday of August tomorrow. 85 feels like 89. That east wind moving at 15 miles per hour. We head out to San Antonio International and the colorful runways for a look at today's numbers. 95 the high. About where we should be. Nothing in the rain gauge today. The 2011 record of 107 stays on the books. Showers did get over to about Hondo, and then there was one brief shower at about 7, 730. Look at this, just south of Gonzales. I mean, it did not last but about 10, 15 minutes. There it is right there. Most of the action today was southeast of us, a little closer to the remnants of this area of low pressure that supplied southeast Texas and Louisiana with a lot of heavy rain today, but it was really cut off as this thing kind of opens up and dissipates. Tomorrow, there will be some pockets of instability that with daytime heating, maybe we see a few isolated showers. 20% chance at about 2 p.m., and you can see it'll be isolated and probably last until about 6 or 7, maybe 8 or 9 p.m. out to the west near Del Rio. Then on Saturday, notice that things change and a lot of this rain coming in from the north. So we'll have a new rainmaker come Saturday. This cold front's going to drop south, go stationary to our north. So it's not going to move through here, but close enough as it just kind of lays out in north central, maybe into the hill country, and send a few outflow boundaries in our direction. So rain chances get better as we head into Labor Day weekend. We'll go 30% on Saturday, but once we get into Sunday, here come those outflow boundaries. 50-50 Sunday, then up to a 60% chance Monday. Not looking at severe at this moment. That, of course, can change. The Severe Prediction Center outlook is something I'm keeping an eye on for tomorrow. Rainfall across Texas, really, the bullseye is going to be southeast Texas, six to seven inches possible over the next six to seven days. For us, two plus across the hill country and the collection zone of the Edwards Aquifer, that'll be beautiful. Inch to an inch and a half in the city and metro will be nice. You get closer to about three inches once you go to Victoria and closer to Houston. First cold front, you know, since we're talking about one for this weekend, when do we expect it? Well, probably September 17th as far as temperatures below 80. Once we get to a good blue norther, that's usually November. It was about on time last year. And we had a cold Halloween last year, a little chilly. But, you know, as far as a big cold front, probably not until December. 14-day forecast time. We're going with a weather impact alert day for Labor Day. You'll be off work, kids are home from school, and thunderstorms at a 60% chance. That'll impact your day. 50 to 60% Sunday, Monday, best rain chances. But look, 40% holding on for these first few days of September. Even into next weekend, Friday and Saturday will hold a slight chance of rain. Holding on to those mid-90s, which is nice.